Hello friends, today we're going to talk about the game that will be the main focus of this channel, DeFi Kingdoms. DeFi Kingdoms is a new blockchain game on the Harmony One network that is probably the most interesting startup plan in tokenomics that I have seen to date, and I think that this game could even rise up to the big leagues in this space such as Axie Infinity. If you've been looking for an entry point into a project where you could reasonably obtain valuable NFT heroes, equipment, and even land, I recommend you do your own research on DeFi Kingdoms, and I'm going to give you a little uh, glimpse of that right now. As a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I am personally invested into this project. I'm really excited about it. Let's check out what makes it so unique and why I'm so bullish on it. This is Crypto with Tosh. Let's roll. So two things that you'll have to do before you get started with the game. The first is that you have to download MetaMask. So MetaMask is either a Google Chrome or a Firefox extension, and it is a wallet that is used to basically make any transaction throughout the crypto universe. Uh, there's so many utilities, so much utility to MetaMask, so definitely go and get that. And then the next thing that you'll have to do is send some of your one coin to your MetaMask wallet. This is used to make any transactions, and then you'll also want Wanted to purchase your jewel I recommend using the crypto.com exchange super easy the fees are almost nothing when you uh, purchase off of there and send from there I've had uh, seen a lot of people have been using Binance as well as a secondary option and this is for US users so once you have done that and set up um, uh, go ahead and go to defikingdoms.com and then there will be a portal to enter the game the first thing that it will have you do is create your player profile so you can choose one of these pixel avatars anyone that looks cool to you I think I used this one for my main account but let's, uh, I like the purple hair that's a cool purple hair so let's go with it we've got Tosh here again Oh, it looks like I've already used Tosh, so we'll do how about crypto with Tosh? Perfect. So um, what we'll do from there is that your MetaMask will tell you to confirm the Harmony transaction. Sorry, I did that a little bit quickly. Um, but you can see the um, w transaction on one hardly took anything out of my wallet. It's less than 0 .001 um, one, one coin. And one is only at 12 cents right now. This makes it a fraction of a penny to do any transaction on the game, which is such a great feature, especially with gaming. Like ETH transactions are just not even feasible these days. So so uh, I'm really glad that we found a network that this is really great on. So what I did is I put some jewel and some wand into this account to show you some of the features. So the uh, main feature that I want to show you is the gardens here because this is where you can really reap some of the greatest rewards. So a lot of people and uh, most people are putting into their coins into this jewel one liquidity pool. If you're not familiar with what a liquidity pool is, this is a way that uh, people can like, like raise money and people are rewarded right now with Jewel for raising that money. And this Jewel is being mined on these blocks within the one chain. I'll do a different video on decentralized finance more later, but I want to show you some of the basics of this. And what I really want to highlight here is this APR because it is nuts. Right now, if you put your Jewel or one tokens into this pool, then you'll receive 22 thousand percent APR and this is as of September 6 right now um, so 22,000% is pretty crazy. In just a couple days, your rewards will equal your total investment, and that is absolutely nuts. So one of the things is that a lot of those rewards are locked, but there are mechanisms within the game that you can speed up that unlocking period. Uh, but it is absolutely insane. We'll show you how um, to set that up and how those rates go up. So that is one of the main features that you can use your jewel with right now. The other main feature is the bank, and the bank is very important. So right now the bank is, uh, what it does is it converts your jewels into these X jewels. So an X jewel is worth 1.255 jewels. So let's say if I put in um, 10 jewels, for example, then that would uh, reduce down to how many X jewels. So I think that would be about 8.5 or so. But your X jewels stay constant, and the fees that don't get put into that the rewards for the liquidity pool actually get put into this bank. And what happens is that this ratio of jewels to X jewels goes up. 
So if you keep your jewels into the bank, then um, what happens is that they actually grow very uh, slowly over time. It's actually not very slowly, it's just kind of slow compared to 22,000 APR that we were looking at earlier, but this is actually, uh, some people have done the math on it, turns out to be about 3% per day. So the uh, bank is actually a great place to put your tokens, especially if you lo are looking to spend them later on. We'll talk about some of the utility that you can spend those on coming up really soon actually. Making any deposit in the bank is super easy, so to do that, all you need to do is click on the banker, go ahead and hit deposit, and then you can put however many jewels you want in there. Um, at first you'll hit approve, it'll be one of those double transactions again, uh, and then once that is approved, then you can deposit, and that will turn your jewels into X jewels. So as you can see here, I'm depositing 1.22 jewels. Well, it looks like it might have froze up or a transaction slow down here so those have been approved now and now I'm going to deposit them and we can see again almost nothing for fee let's go ahead and deposit those and now those are in the bank they should show up any second um, so it says I have 1.22 jewels in the bank and then that should refresh any second and tell me how many X jewels I have so there we have it 0.9725 X joules and again if the, when this ratio goes up then it's gonna be more than this 1.22 joules that I started off with all right so I put a couple jewel tokens into this account to show you guys how to set up your liquidity pools so with your liquidity pools again what you're doing is you're putting 50 50 of two tokens into play and they are serving as these liquid funds and then you are generating these rewards from this liquidity pool so to do that the first thing you have to do is kind of get your balance to be half and half right now so um, I've got 3.24 jewels and then I have 14.1 here so let's see how this actually equals out it's actually not too bad here um, if you have all of your one typically what you want um, what you want to do is you want to split your balance so for example if you had two thousand ones um, what you want to do is put one thousand here and that will generate an equal amount of jewel that that uh, that, that should trade into here so what you want to do is equalize your coins out so I've got 3.2 jewel we're just gonna end 14 one this is gonna actually just rock out just fine so I'm gonna keep it here let me just show you what that swap looks like just to give you a quick demonstration so I'll swap one one coin into a fraction of a jewel coin I um, have my liquidity provider fee so it's always going to be a percentage of what the actual transaction is in the one this is the fee that actually goes into the pool and then will also go into your bank rewarder um, so I'm gonna get at least this amount of jewel for my one token it, um, it had an update there so I will confirm that I'll confirm my swap and now in MetaMask I can um, see the transaction and again this cost 0 0.0011 one token this is a fraction of a penny to make this transaction awesome 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 confirm no big deal and now that's going to transfer that one token into that part of the jewel token now that we've made that transaction for some of the one token into the jewel token, we're set it, ready to start adding into our liquidity pool. So we can do that in the gardens here from the menu. Another thing about this game is just the transitions are so smooth, it's awesome, works so great. Um, so I really recommend going into this one, um, the jewel one pool it is the biggest pool right now where most people are earning their rewards. I say this because also the pool allocation is the largest out of the rest. There are some safer options here and uh, if you're not familiar in, uh, in general, liquidity pools are a fairly risky thing, but uh, if this project is good and you believe in this project, the risk does actually get toned down quite a bit. But as we can see, 64% of the pool rewards and it's still at 22,000% EPR here in the Jewel 1 pool. I think this is the best place, but um, if you'd like a safer option, I think the safest option here is actually the 1B USD pool because Jewel is actually not involved in this at all. But Jewel keeps climbing and climbing, so who knows what is actually the best option. Uh, do your own research and figure out what works best for you. 
So to add to a liquidity pool, first you need to make the liquidity tokens. So we find our pair, then we're gonna select the two tokens that we want to pair together. So in this case, we want to pair the one token with the jewel token. I'm going to max out my um, jewel token. Actually, I have too much jewel for my one token right now. That's okay. Um, so I'm gonna max out my one token and that will give me 2.3 jewels uh, that I'm putting in. And then I'm putting 14 one tokens about into this liquidity pool. So then I will hit approve and that will have me do another um, little transaction. I'm actually gonna reduce this down to 13 flat just so I have a little bit to make transactions. So I will approve my jewel here. Um, I'll reject that first transaction since that was the full amount. My second one is now going to be perfect here. It's approving, approving, approving. Sweet, it loves it. I'm going to supply these, so I'm getting 5.2 liquidity pool tokens out of this. I'll go ahead and confirm the supply. And now it's having me make another one transaction. Again, these are so cheap, 0.0021. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so I just turned my one tokens and my jewel tokens into these liquidity pool tokens now is what I just did. Now uh, to add these into the pool, I'm just gonna go back to the druid at the gardens. He's got my pool that I wanna go into, this jewel one pool. I'm going to um, put my deposit here, deposit my tokens, max that out, approve it. I'll have to do one more one transaction. I can imagine this being ETH transactions every time. I could not, certainly. Um, and then I will go ahead and approve this. Let's see if it clicks. You can do it, little buddy. All right, so that is approved, my 5.2 Jewel LP tokens. Now I'm depositing another transaction here, and this should do it. Let's see if it works. Uh-oh, may have rejected there. There we go, transaction submitted, that's what you're looking for. Deposited here, and then once you see that deposited there, then uh, your deposits will show up on this top spot. And then we can see that we're already starting to earn our Jewel tokens. Trust me, if you have this ticker in the thousands, it goes very, very fast. Let's watch this just for a sec to see like how quickly this is going to um, get some jewels on our next block. So again, this is earning at 22,000% APR right now. So what that means is approximately every two to three days, you're going to be getting your uh, full amount back. Some of that will be locked, but some of it you can use right away. And you can even recompound that back in. So liquidity pool is a riskier option, but um, is a great option if you want to reap those huge rewards right now, especially if you believe in this project long term, I think this is the place to go. Personally, I have about two thirds of my um, went into the liquidity pool in my meme account, and then about one third in the bank, and now I'm personally shifting some more into the bank. If you are looking to get into DeFi Kingdoms, I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I am personally really bullish on this project and I have a lot of faith in the development team. Definitely go check out the white paper if you want to look at some of the reasons of why I am so bullish. I plan to do a video that's going to do a little walkthrough review on that pretty soon, so uh, keep an eye out for that as this project blossoms. Uh, they are also doing a couple sales for the Gen Zero Hero NFT soon, so that should happen by the end of September. And in addition, they are doing a raffle for any X Jewel holder that has more than 5,000 X Jewels in the bank. You will have a chance of a 1 in 50 chance, or sorry, there will be 50 shiny Gen Zero NFTs that will be given out in that raffle uh, for anybody that holds more than 5,000 X Jewels in the bank. So really great opportunity if you're trying to get on that early. Uh, the Gen Zero NFTs will start at 750 Jewels. They are a little bit pricey, but I think they will be, uh, really Really pay themselves off in not too long of a time and they are, think they're gonna be super valuable so if you compare like Gen Zero axes for example some of those go for between 500,000 and 1.5 million dollars right now 
we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you'd like to learn more about DeFi kingdoms I think the best way is to join the discord channel feel free to ask any questions or comments below I want to know what are you most excited about for DeFi kingdoms and are there any other projects that are you see are doing similar things that I'd love to get an eye on those uh, comment below, like and subscribe the channel to help support, and hopefully we see D5 Kingdoms go to the moon together and we can all be riding that ship. I'm Crypto with Tosh, see you later.